up uh, Thursday, which is our three days this week that we've really kind of gotten after it, back to basics. We've, we won 170 plays on Tuesday, won about 130 plays on Wednesday, and got about 160 again today. Uh, a lot of teamwork the last three days. Just looking at the way we played at Pittsburgh, there's just a lot of things that we didn't fit together as we had talked about, where the D-line, the linebackers, and the secondary weren't all fit together. And so I felt like it was really important. We get a lot of teamwork, and we got to keep getting better. This is, we've got a couple tough conference games coming up over the next couple weeks, and we felt like it was important that we made a lot of strides this week. And we've graded the film every day. I think we're getting better as a football team, and I think it's been a really productive week for us. We're going to give the players Friday, Saturday off, and then we'll come back on Sunday, and we'll be back into our game mode, getting ready for Connecticut next week, back into our typical schedule, which will be nice to get back into a routine. But really pleased with the attitude and the way they've come out and they've worked for the last three days because we've gotten a lot of good work out of them. What was the breakdown of practice, mostly 11-on-11? 11 11 it was um, <coughs> 10 minutes kicking, 20 minutes individual, and the rest of it was all 11-on-11. 11 11. Like I said, we're getting rid of some of the segment work this late in the year. When you go to camp, you do a lot of inside, a lot of pass scale. You put it together in pieces. Right now, when you're when you're into playing the games, you got to learn to play football. And you only learn to play football reading, play action pass, runs, looking at the chains, understanding how to play the game. And so right now, it was almost all teamwork the last three days. Coach, I want to ask you, I saw Derek Hopkins wearing a boot. Not that he's, he's played a ton, but just want to ask you what, what happened and then what his Derek chances. Hopkins um, sprained his ankle yesterday. Um, A.J. Love didn't do much this week. Q. Washington mm -hmm. kind of shut down this week because of his knee, just uh -huh. to eliminate some of the swelling. I expect both A.J. and Q. to be back on Sunday. Um, thank you, Will Smith. Don't know how long Derek will be right now. Um, I think really that's a couple guys cramping today, but I think I think that was about it. But Derek did his ankle yesterday in practice. Terrence is still away from practice. How is he doing away from the field? He is. I mean, he's checking in with the trainers daily, and we're monitoring him, and they're going through all the testing procedures. As I've said before, we're going to go slow with this because of his background and because of the seriousness of the concussion. We're going to go slow with this. We're going to be cautious with this. And we just want to make sure that he's back to healthy before we even get him back into any football activities. As of now, he's still not back at 100%. And he's got to pass the baseline test that he took when he first came in. He's got to be able to pass the baseline test and then go through all the concussion tests. He's got to be able to pass all the concussion tests. Uh, and then we'll probably let him make sure that he can pass those for a couple days before we even consider bringing him back. So right now we're just going to let that heal as it, heal as it goes. It's, a, it's an unknown because of the number that he had and the severity of it. You just don't know how long it's going to linger. Looking at past distribution from last year, this year it's like day and night. Um, you've had 18 different guys catch at least one pass. How nice is that for you? Well, we've talked about the depth of receivers and how far that's come from a year ago and yeah. how many guys have really stepped up and the way Sterling Griffin's playing and the adjustment of Evan Landy to tight end and the way Shields is playing. Uh, to have Love out there and then he goes down and Bravo Brown steps in to have the two freshmen out there to have a Deontay Welch coming in as a redshirt freshman. There are a lot of guys catching a lot of balls for us, especially when you look at the running backs who have all been in the mix as well. So there's a lot of, we have a good little rotation right now. We're not just predicated on one tight end and one X and one Z and we're having the opportunity to play a lot of guys and I think that'll pay dividends for us as we go down the road and play throughout the whole season because if you do have injuries, you have a a lot of guys gaining some experience during the course of the year, which is really positive. Yeah.